Hello everybody, Pike here, and today I have for you another redstone tutorial. So, right here in front of me, you'll see that I have this um, iron building here. Let's say I want to go in. See, is there anybody home? I don't think there's anybody home. But luckily, since I built this house, I know how to open the door. It's actually very simple. Now I can walk in. I can close the door, get what I need out of my chest. Now I can walk back over here, open the door, walk back outside, and close it so that mobs don't go into my house while I'm away. But, say that I wanted players not to be able to unlock it also. Well, no problems there. I just close the door flick this switch and now the buttons don't do anything at all and if I unflick the switch then the buttons will work just fine so it's actually very simple this is all the redstone that there is to it <clears throat> so what we've got here is this is our output from the two buttons going into this mono stable circuit here and this circuit um, receives the output from the lever, which will lock the monostable circuit, not allowing it to send a pulse through. But if the pulse does manage to get through, then it'll go over here and into this T flip flop latch, which will push the redstone block. If it's on this side, push it over to this side, and if it's on this side, push it over to that side which will send a signal down one of these two lines to these command blocks. <clears throat> so, no, you cannot use this in a single player world, I mean a survival world, unless you want to cheat these in. But it is a good tool, I would say, for um, um, adventure maps maybe, or mini games of some sort. But it uses the new feature called set block. And what set block does is basically exactly what it says. It will set the block of whatever space you tell it to set the block of. So in this instance, I'm using slash set block, relative coordinates, um, and then air, which is also the ID the ID code for air is zero, so that's why I use zero. And over here, I have the ID code for uh, diamond block around the edges and a redstone block in the center. So when these receive a signal, they'll turn all of this to air. And when those receive a signal, they'll turn this to diamond and redstone. <coughs> so, I would say that's um, a pretty useful tool, considering the fact that piston doors, aside from the fact that this needs command blocks, piston doors were a little bit more difficult to make. Um, I think that's pretty much all that I have to, to say here, and if you really need a tutorial for this, then you can continue watching, but I don't think you really do, because it's, it's all right here, it's pretty self-explanatory. So anyways, on to the tutorial. Alright, so you want to start off with a structure, something like this. Uh, outside, you want a 3x3 three three square with a button in the center. You want a, ro a column of three blocks right here. And then another 3x3 three three panel right here. And over here is where your house is going to be or whatever structure this is that you want the door to be leading into. <clears throat> so, you start by placing a block behind the button. Now place a block on the side of the redstone and some redstone on top of the block. Now you want to carry the blocks over here into your other button. Hook it up like that. Redstone torch on the side here. Block there, block there. This repeater at maximum delay. That repeater at delay 2. Another block right here on the side of that repeater. Now bring this over here some redstone along it on top of this and a torch right there 
So that's your mono stable circuit. It is this little piece right here. <coughs> so now, out of this torch, you want to take your input up three like so, one over, cover it with redstone, torches on the sides. Now, place a block like that, piston right here, it'll push you away. Redstone block right there. Blocks like so. Piston right there. And there is your T flip flop latch. So now if I press the button, the T flip flop should reverse. And the block will move over. Now, under here, you place redstone going like that. And over here, you place redstone going like that. And <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. So now, you take the output from your lever, which should be right here. You gotta bring it back here. Now let me just flick this lever to see how far the signal reaches exactly. Yeah, it, it works. All right. So now you have your locking mechanism. <clears throat> now you want to carry this out a ways. Okay. So there should be four blocks of space between them. And you want to make sure that this is aligned precisely with your door where you want the door to be. And you'll put repeaters here and you want a 9x9 nine nine grid of command blocks right here. And then cover this with redstone repeaters as necessary. Alright. So, do I need a repeater here? Yes, I do. There we go. Now this goes around like this. Oh yeah, and you want, and it would be, um, it actually is very nice if they have the same amount of delay. Because then it makes it much smoother. So try to put an equal amount of repeaters on each one. Again, make sure that it's aligned. Otherwise, you'll have the door popping up in your wall, and that's not good. <clears throat> now I'm going to flick my button over here. Repeater there. And again, a 9x9 grid of command blocks. There we go. So these are this is the basic redstone of it. You see they pretty much look the same, right? All right. So now you've got to program in all of the command blocks. Now all of these will have exactly the same command which is this. So I'm just going to copy this command, take a look at it. You will have the same coordinates since these are relative. <clears throat> and I'll take that signal, I'll take that uh, command over here, paste it into all of my command blocks, like so. The only reason that your command might be different is actually, um, if you built it facing in a different direction because then your coordinates would be offset from mine but since I built these two facing the same direction these will have the same commands <clears throat> so now to demonstrate just a second I need a diamond block here so just to demonstrate let's say this is my door even though it's not yet so my door is there 
Now if I click this button, all turns to air. So now what I'm going to do is this command. Again, it should be the same for you unless you've built your building facing a different direction. So, <clears throat> you can make the doors out of whatever you want. All you have to do is change the last number in the code, which is the block ID, to the block ID of something else, or, or now the name of something else with the, with the, new, um, with the new snapshots and all since you can use names in command blocks now. I still use the block IDs though. I don't know why. And now the command for a redstone block. You know what, I'm just gonna copy paste this in here. 152 I think it is. Yeah, all right. So now we have a fully working system. So I flick this button, I got myself a door, click it again, no door, click this button, door, click it again, no door, lock this, nothing will happen, nothing will happen. Um, close the door, lock it, nothing will happen, and nothing will happen. So that's pretty much all there is to it, except now you got to put a roof on your house. Because otherwise those spiders can just climb over your door. <clears throat> and that's pretty much all that I have to say. So goodbye, and I hope to see you all next time.